Hello my friends, John LaRuffa here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're gonna take a look at Evenfall. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, folks, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you have, I really do appreciate that support. Thank you very much. So the back of the box looks pretty intriguing in the fact that you see kind of the game right here and you got cards and all that other stuff. So there you go. Good job on the back of the box, looks nice. I gotta say, I'm not really into this kind of theme, to be honest, but the gameplay looks interesting, and so, for the most part, theme has never been a huge thing for me, except for power plants and industry. I love power plants and industry themes, no doubt about that. But, anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got here. I actually did already read the rules to this game, uh, and it definitely seems like the rule book was put together well. We'll see how it all shakes out when I play it, but I thought it was pretty easy to understand from the rules. All right. Now, here we go. This rule book is about 20 pages, and they do a good job giving you plenty of examples and pictures to follow, which is why I thought, okay, really easy to follow. Literally, you got rules, examples, rules, examples. So that was really well done. I really felt like I understood what I was doing, and it wasn't hard at all to learn kind of how the Automa would work either as far as how it moves and does its thing, etc. So should be pretty good. And there's ways to scale the difficulty of the Automa as well. All right, so let's take a look at the components. We've got the uh, medium thin cardboard here. Things are literally falling right out. They're not gonna be hard to punch out. And they don't seem to have any warp on them, so that's good. Um, I know that there's a lot of artwork here that seems to be done, well done. And that kind of pushes the theme forward here. Um, so here we've got our action uh, player aids as far as how to do what. Yeah, easy to definitely easy to punch. So artwork looks nice and thematic, very colorful. Here we've basically got our offer spots here that we'll be fighting over to get the uh, get the bonuses and such in the battle area. So then we have the different uh, player boards. They are asymmetric, depending on what you, um, you know, whether you play with the one, the moon or the sun side. All right, so as you can see here, and then these right here. So definitely easy, they're just falling out <laughs> um, in regards to those. All right, so we have a bit of an insert. So there we go, which should be fine because I can see there's gonna be plenty of room to sleeve my cards and put them in here, so I'm totally okay with a functional insert right like that. No problems at all. All right, let's see about the wood components. So we have the color red here with two, two different types of workers. You've got the elders and then the witches. So then we have blue, this peach-ish color, and black. That's what we got for the colors. And then we've got wooden markers for the three resources. You've got knowledge, potions, and herbs. And then these are just the um, things for the mana wheels. Bunch of bags here. Plenty of bags. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the cards, which is kind of the main event. And also we have these, which I'm going to guess are for um, giving the boards a little space, is my guess. And that allows you to slot things under them, hopefully. That's usually what I've seen those for. All right, let's take a look at the card decks. Da, 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 da. And the quality, since this is basically a card game, hopefully the quality is pretty good. All right. Um, from a thickness standpoint here, they're kind of on the thin side. They have a texture. I would definitely recommend um, sleeving these because they just are a bit thin and it is a card game. So you're going to be shuffling them a lot. So the artwork looks nice. You see lots of copies of the same type of card here for the different uh, types of, I can't remember what these are called, like Sites of Power, I think they were. I think that's what this is. All right, so those there's that deck right here. And then you have, um, well, these are, they say Incantation. I can't remember. Well, these are the Ritual cards. Okay, so we got some Ritual cards here that you can play in different ways. And another deck to continue on. The ritual cards for sure. I think there's just two decks in this game. So there's those 
landscapes, like you said, and then there's this other deck. And yeah, we've got more ritual cards here. And then you move into like familiars and then specialists. So these specialists you can play in different ways. So it's a multi-function, multi-use card kind of situation. They all look pretty well done with the art. And that's it. All right, so thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, everybody. And whatever you do in the future, you know I really hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy now.